In this video, I want to check out these Apple Airport Extremes. These were some Apple routers that were sold back about 10 years ago, and they were actually pretty good for the time. So uh, my friend got this for $30 at a thrift store, and I also got one for $20 um, at the same thrift store. They were together. One of them is in the box, um, so I'm going to demonstrate the unboxing, and then I'm going to do some tests on these to see if they're actually still good. So. Um, it actually just slides up. It's the older Apple logo on the side, the gray Apple logo. On the back, it's just the Airport Extreme itself. You know, got the ports and all, and it's, uh, Wi-Fi 802.11ac, so that's Wi-Fi 5. Expand your network, easy setup. And that's actually iOS, uh, 6 right there. So, that's pretty cool. On the other side, there's nothing, and, um, on the front, it's just a photo of the airport. So next, here's the airport itself. Um, a lot of people actually confuse the old Airport Express with an Apple TV in white, um, but Apple never sold a white Apple TV. Next in the box is the setup guide. So this is just, um, you know, a basic guide for setting this thing up. You know, it says setting up Airport Extreme using an iOS device, and here there's getting started and all. That's just basic. And then designed by Apple in California. I'm gonna pull this out. And there would be a power adapter, but I'm using that right now with my other one. On the bottom, I will cover this serial number because this is not mine, but um, there's a serial number and the part number. And then up here, it's just basic info. In here, I guess, I'm pretty sure that's just the warranty. That's long expired on all these. I'm pretty sure they discontinued this back in December of 2016, if I remember correctly. So on the back, there is ethernet right here and three gigabit ethernet ports, I believe. And there's, I think this would be USB 2. And then um, there is also this port, which is for power. And then there's this, for whatever reason, on both of our airports, um, a very worn out button. It just looks exactly like an Apple TV 4K from the bottom. So now we're going to get on to testing this out and seeing how they perform. So right here is the Airport Extreme. I'm going to plug this into the ethernet right here. So the bottom one is the uh, throughput, I guess you could say. Um, this one was $20, the box one was $30. I'm currently using the unboxed one because this is mine. I didn't want to pay an extra $10 to just get the box, but my friend does because he's trying to collect Apple products. So here on this um, iPhone that I'm using for demonstration, I can just click Airport Extreme and I'm going to put in my password. So this kind of will integrate into the iOS ecosystem. This phone is not on my iCloud, um, this is my secondary iPhone I use for other stuff, but on my Apple TV and my Mac Studio, it did not ask me for the password when I signed in to the airport. Now I'm going to download this speed test app, which I've been using for years. Keep in mind this is connected via gigabit ethernet and um, there's only probably about two or three devices on the network itself right now. So doing a speed test, this is actually pretty quick for what it is. This is connected via another router, which is also on gigabit. Um, but still, 297 megabits per second, and the 11 Pro Max does support Wi-Fi 6, and then about 40 up, that is what I normally get. I'm gonna do the same exact test this time on the other router. So now I am on a Wi-Fi 6 router, and I'm going to do the speed test. So obviously this will get better megabits per second down, and probably up, but overall, the Airport Extreme actually does get some pretty good speeds. Even on my Apple TV, when I ran a speed test on that, it was working just fine. One issue that I tended to have with the Airport Extreme over using it is actually range. I have a two-story house. This is in my basement. So going up, I guess, two stories to my bedroom, no devices would really connect. On eBay, these sell for around $30 unboxed and about $60 boxed. Um, the cable that these use is not proprietary, but I think the Apple cables are pretty good quality. Overall, for $30, this is a pretty good router. There are some other routers that I could buy for like $60, $70, even like $100 at something like Best Buy that wouldn't even compare to this. And this probably won't be my main router because I really don't have a use for it since um, my router is better. But this is a cool backup router and it is in general pretty cool to have since these are really cool devices. One other thing that I do want to note is that Apple actually did have one of these that had a hard drive in it for time machine backups. It was pretty much like a little server. And I think the hard drives came in like two through maybe even like six terabytes maybe. 
and I remember seeing those and thinking those were really cool. But um, these were discontinued probably about six years back, maybe five years back. I'm pretty sure it was late 2016. Anyways, with that said, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.